Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Welcome back to Dr. Vernon's Virtues. I'm so glad you came back. Thank you so much. For those of you who are brand new to my podcast, welcome. Please listen, subscribe, tell your friends, and um, I appreciate you being here. All right. So today we're talking about three things. We're talking about worry, work, and worship. Worry, work, and worship. But before we start, let's go ahead and start with our affirmation. Put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. This is my life, and I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to, because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. In other words, you have everything you need in you right now. You have all the power that you need in you right now to change your life. So why is it that we do not change? Three things. First of all, Many of us take a look at our lives and there's something going on in your life. We all have things going on in our life. There is no perfection. Perfection is a myth. And people who act like they're perfect, they're not. They all have something going on in your life. You know, sometimes we even go to church and we think, oh my goodness, well, the pastor must be perfect. He's not. The pastor must, she's not. You know, your priest is not perfect. Your teacher is not perfect. Your banker is not perfect, right? The person who runs your company or your organization, they are not perfect. We all have something that we're dealing with. So welcome to humanity. It's called, we have things to deal with. It's called circumstances. Now, when you have a situation, okay, and I'm talking about a situation that can leave you really thinking about it. There's three things that we tend to do. First of all, most of us tend to worry. We just worry about it. And worrying is kind of like a rocking chair. You're really moving, but you're not going anywhere. You just have movement. In other words, your mind is just going over and over and over again. And you're worrying and you're stressing yourself out and you're thinking about it. And you're, you know, you're just, you're just sitting there and you're immersing yourself in it. But the truth of the matter is that nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. You're just worrying. But there are, there's nothing changing with the situation, but there's something changing with you. One, you, you are becoming more unhealthy by the day. Why? Because worry creates stress. And when you're stressed out, your body takes that in. So there's a, there is a pastor in uh, Brooklyn, New York. He said, he said once, what the mind cannot contain, it will inflict on the body. Let me say that again. What the mind cannot contain, it will inflict on the body. In other words, you worry, 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 and your body your mind can no longer contain it. And so what does it do? It inflicts on your body. So now you're getting sick. You're, you know, you're getting aches, you're getting pains, you're getting headaches, you're getting depressed. That is worry being inflicted on your body. So instead of worrying, what I want you to do is to go to the next level. And the next level is to do what? The work it takes to move from worry to actually doing something about it, the work. Now, how do you get out of worrying? First thing we must do to get out of worrying is to look at the reality of the situation. This is where where you kind of analyze what is it that you are dealing with. Do you know that many of us, most of us, do not look at the reality of our situation? Do you know why? It's simple. It's too painful. You know, something else? When we look at the reality of our situation, we usually have to look at ourselves and say, what is my part? This is going on in my life. Something's going on with my children. Something's going on with my marriage. Something's going on with my business. Something is going on with my friendships. What was my part? And that's the analysis piece. And to get out of worry, you have got to do that analysis work, which means that you have to deal with your reality. Look it straight in the face. And for those of you who are afraid to do that, you know what? Why are you afraid of your own reality? It's your reality. It is. It's nobody else's. It's yours. You have to live in it. You have to deal with it. You have to work it out. So what does that mean? Look at your reality and be honest with yourself. As you're honest with yourself, also be kind to yourself. You know what? We have all made mistakes. There's no perfection. 
You are where you are because of some things that you did. Own that. And now say and ask yourself this question. How did I get here? What did I do to get here? Who was I to get here? And now what? Now you get to ask yourself the now what question. Once you have looked at your reality of your situation, and be for real, this won't work unless you're being honest. If you're still trying to blame and shame somebody else in your life because of this situation, no, it's not going to worry. It's You're going to continue worrying. Why? Because you have to own it. You have to say, what's my part? Okay? What's my part? My children are acting up. What's my part? My business is not doing well. What's my part? Because here's the secret. When you own that piece, now you can change it. But you can't change it until you own it. So instead of worrying, look at the reality of your situation and ask yourself the question, how did I get here? What did I do? And now you get to move to the next level to get out of worry. After you've taken a look at your situation, no matter how painful that was, and sometimes it's kind of painful to look at your own situation and look at the reality of it, right? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. You might have been doing the best you knew how to do. Forgive yourself. And now you got to move on to your next level. And the next level is, okay, now to get out of this situation, to stop worrying, I've got to start doing the work. And what is the work? The work is what is it going to take to change the situation? And to do the work, first of all, you have got to what? Take a look at the situation and know what is it that you want to change? You cannot change it if you don't know what you want to change. If your situation is with your marriage, you can't change it unless you know the reality and what you want to change. If your situation with your children, you can't change it unless you know what's good, the reality of what's going on with your kids and what you want to change. When you actually articulate what you want to change, what you've done is you've kind of put in action, you put in action momentum into your life. And what that means now is now now the entire universe, everything around you is now listening to you because you just said, here's what I want to change. I no longer want to worry. Here's what I want to change. I want to take my business and make it into this. I want my marriage to go from here to here. I want my body weight to go from here to here. I want my health to go from here to here. Now you have articulated what you want. Once you have articulated what you want, now is the time to put the work plan in place. And this is where I say, work it out. This is now your time to work it out. Now, when I say work it out, I'm talking about all sorts of things you can do to do what? Get to that change. The first thing you can do is just simply write it down. Write it down. Write down the change that you want. I want my children to graduate from high school. Write that down. I want my marriage to be healthy. Write that down. I want to be healthy. I no longer want headaches every day. Write that down. Whatever it is, write that thing down. Now, as you begin to write it down, begin to think about what could you do every day? I call it the action step. What can you do every day to get closer to whatever it is you want to change? Let me tell you, you're in that situation because of time. And because of behavior, you've taken action steps to get into that situation. It didn't just happen. You didn't just wake up one morning and all of a sudden you had an issue in your life. No, that stuff was going on for a while. Now, the question is, Have were you realistically looking at it and saying, hey, what can I do about that? But now it took time to get to that situation. Let me tell you, when I say be kind to yourself, right, be gracious to yourself, it's going to take time for you to create that change. Give yourself the time to create that change. But every day I want you to do something to get closer to that change. Every day I want you to work it out. Get up in the morning and say, you know what, today I'm going to work it out. I'm going to find something to do that gets me closer to what? My business profiting, to get me closer to what? A healthier marriage, to get me closer to what? Children who are healthier children, whatever it may be, to get me closer to what? Getting out of debt, to get me closer to what? Getting out of depression, whatever it is that you've been worrying about, now it's time to what? Work it out. Instead of worrying it, work it. And as you begin to work it, little by little by little, you're going to create momentum. 
And little by little, you're going to start seeing that change. Little by little. But you've got to start. Now, the third W I want to give to you, and for some of you, this may not make sense to you because you're just not there. You're not a spiritual person. You haven't connected to your spiritual self, but I can tell you that your life is going to be happier, healthier, more whole when you connect to your spiritual self. Why? Because you didn't just show up on the earth. You were created. You have a creator. You have someone who loves you. And that third W is worship. And for those of you who know how to pray and worship and really ask God to help you get through this thing, praise God for the change, worship God for the change that you are believing for. When you begin to worship before you see it, let me tell you, you worship before you even see the change. Before you see your children turn around, you're going to have to worship. Before you see that business grow, you're going to have to worship. Before you see that marriage change, you are going to have to worship. And what does worship mean? It means laying it all before the Lord and saying, Father, I know that you know my life and I know that you know how to get me to my next level and I am trusting you to give me what I need to get out of this situation. And the last thing, I just thought of this actually, just kind of came to me just literally as I'm talking to you, is that when you're done worshiping, ask one thing, ask your creator, ask your God for one thing. You know, the greatest, most wisest man ever to have walked the earth besides Jesus himself was Solomon. And Solomon, when God said to Solomon, what do you want? Solomon didn't ask for a car. He didn't ask for millions. He didn't ask for, you know, to, to have prestige. Solomon asked for wisdom. And wisdom is what you need to guide you through the process as you get out of that worry. So in wrapping up, work does nothing for you but keep you trapped in your past failure it keeps you trapped and it keeps you very unhealthy worry will kill you if you're not careful get out of worry how start working it out start to work it out and for those of you who know how to worship it out worship it out and then for those of you all of you your creator created you. Ask for some wisdom. Ask for some wisdom so that you can begin to what? Create the change that you want to see in your life. Stop worrying and work it out. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me today. And let's finish with our affirmation. This is my life and I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to, because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. Thanks for joining me today. Learn more about me at drvernaprice.com. Listen, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. 